Hey, babe, how is your presentation doing? It's going good. It's about the Krebs cycle. I think I'm finished. Do you want to hear it? Of course. First, a process called glycolysis occurs in the cell, in the cytoplasm. This is where glucose, obtained from the food that we eat, gets converted into a more usable form called pyruvate. Pyruvate is then converted into acetyl-CoA. Acetyl what? Acetyl-CoA. It's a coenzyme. Remember that name. This conversion takes place in the mitochondria of the cell, the same place where the Krebs cycle occurs. You know, our mighty mitochondria, they're not only the little powerhouses of our cells, but they're also responsible for our overall health. So acetyl-CoA, a two-carbon molecule, combines with oxaloacetate, a four-carbon molecule. Together, they form a six-carbon molecule called citric acid. From this point on, citric acid is oxidized over a bunch of steps, losing carbons left and right, until it eventually becomes oxaloacetate again. And then the cycle continues as it joins with acetyl-CoA to form citric acid. This is why the Krebs cycle can also be referred to as the citric acid cycle. Oh, oh, I understand now. That's great. Okay, let's look at it again with a little bit more detail. In the first step of the Krebs cycle, acetyl-CoA combines with oxaloacetate to form citrate. This is through the enzyme citrate synthase. Citrate is then converted to isocitrate, which gets oxidized and becomes alpha-ketoglutarate. It releases CO2 and an NADH is formed. Isocitrate dehydrogenase catalyzes this reaction and regulates the speed of the entire Krebs cycle. Alpha-ketoglutarate is oxidized and becomes an unstable succinyl-CoA. Again, a carbon dioxide is released and an NADH is produced. Alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase catalyzes this reaction. Succinyl-CoA is then converted to succinate and an ATP is produced in the process. Succinate is then converted into fumarate where an FADH2 is produced. Fumarate becomes malate and malate completes the cycle becoming oxaloacetate, producing the final NADH. And the cycle keeps on turning. It turns twice for every glucose molecule we get from our food. So there you have it, the Krebs cycle in a nutshell, where we are left with 6 NADH, 2 FADH, and 2 ATPs, ready to be used for the next process in cellular respiration. <laughs> Thanks, babe! It was amazing. Great. Thanks for watching.